In this lesson, we'll take a look at how we can utilize the metal ray infinite light. So the infinite light is really the metal ray equivalent to the Maya directional light. And in order to connect and utilize this infinite light properly, it does need to be connected to a metal ray directional light source. So in this situation, you'll notice that if we were to render out our image, you'll see that I've already got my directional light source set up and we already have shadows enabled so we can see the shadowing effects that we get with these types of directional lights which are really good for simulating things like sunlight where your light source is very very far away and you don't wind up having these convergence of the shadow rays you can see that these uh, actual shadowed results stay perfectly parallel to each other which is a unique property of these directional lights so what we can do is take a look at the attributes for this and to start to hook up the metal ray equivalent just go down to the metal ray tab scroll all the way down toward the bottom and take a look inside the light shader so let's connect this up and with this all we need to do is go to the metal ray tab and now connect in our MIB light infinite now you'll notice that really there is just a couple of attributes for these infinite lights one to control the light color and one to control the intensity of the shadows so you'll notice that if I were to save my render and render this new one out that really there is very little difference between the uh, metal ray infinite light and the Maya directional light however like a lot of these other metal ray lights sometimes these are going to be required in order to get the proper shadow interactions with certain metal ray materials so if we want to darken or lighten these shadows we can do that through the use of this factor so once this factor starts to increase we now start to lighten our shadows significantly as you can see here and as this value starts to increase all the way to one this factoring level you'll see that our shadows should now become completely transparent and that's exactly what we have so that's a look at how we can connect and utilize this metal ray infinite light